All right, so thanks so much for joining. So I'm gonna do a pretty short video on fonts. I had a question about how do you download and install fonts, but I also wanted to cover how do you find the right fonts and what can you do with fonts? Um, most of the time people think uh, font is only used for lettering, uh, but you can use it and search for much, much more. So the first thing, um, if you are doing a themed type of a party or a themed type of event, um, you're going to want to find a map, you're going to want to find a font to match it and you can find fonts for almost everything. Let's say you're working on a um, school project and so maybe you want a children's handwriting font. You can click on um, just search children handwriting font and then you will have a number of sites that come up where you can download free fonts. Um, a thousand and one fonts, font space, the fonts um, are all Oh, font Squirrel, I've, I've used them before. Urban Fonts, I've used before. Um, all fantastic font websites. So let's go ahead and, and click here. And we can see, as we scroll down, a whole bunch of handwritten children's fonts. And we can click on number two to see the second. Oh, there we go. And we can see Butterfly Kids. And let's say I don't have, I know I don't have Butterfly Kids. So let's go ahead and show you how you can download and install this font. Let's go ahead and click on download. And then on the bottom here, it says that it's downloading. It's finished downloading. From here, I can either view downloads or I can just go ahead and open this download folder, which I want to do. Okay. So something to point out is when this will initially download, and actually let's click to downloads. What we can see here is this Butterfly Kids that just downloaded is a compressed file. It's a zip file, okay? So what that means is that it's compressed and what you need to do before you can install the font is, um, so for instance, if I click on this and I right click, I can't do anything. Um, you need to extract this out of the zip file. It's compressed and you need to uncompress it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click up here on Extract All. When I click on Extract All, it's going to put it in my Downloads folder. And I am clicking here, so I want to say Show Extracted Files When Completed. Okay, so now if I go to Downloads, I can see Butterfly Kids, but it's not a zip file, it's a file folder. Okay, now you want to click on the TTF file or the True Type Font file. Again, it's a TTF file. You can left click and just click on Install. Okay, now it's installed. Now, literally, I can go to Microsoft Word, click on here, click on my home button, and I wanna go down to B for Butterfly. There it is, Butterfly Kids. Okay, so there's my font. Uh, and you can literally look for fonts for almost um, anything, really. So let's say you're doing a kid's birthday and it's a Minecraft theme. Minecraft font and we can go here and we can see here's our Minecraft font if you want a um, I did a Mickey Mouse theme party Mickey or let's do Disney Disney font and we can click on here and we can see our Disney font um, right here um, and so you can literally search for anything to fit any theme at all. Um, I recently did a um, potluck um, themed banner for our school and I searched for food fonts. And believe it or not, I found a knife and a fork and a spoon type of font, um, which, which worked out great. So again, you might have to do some searches on them, um, but you can absolutely find almost any font that you want out there. Um, so the other thing with fonts is, again, I mentioned in the beginning, a lot of times people think that fonts are just uh, for um, actual lettering, but you can use fonts for a lot more. So for instance, if I, turn, I type in symbol font, I can go ahead and click on really any one of these, and I can see all of these different types of frames and images. And this is literally a font, right? So let's say I, I wanna click on the shoes font 
if I click on the shoes font, it's going to give me more information about this particular font. And we can actually see a full character map. So we can see this is the exclamation point. Um, if you look up here, this is the quotes, this is the dollar sign, this is the ampersand, this is the number six, this is the capital V, this is the lower case, case F. And again, these are all just fonts. Um, another one I did recently was I was trying to do a chalkboard type of banner. So I did a search for frame font. And when I did a search for frame font, this was one of the first that came up. And this trans, um, translated very well into a chalkboard-esque type of, of look. So for instance, I already have this spot downloaded, so I don't need to, to download this again. But if I go ahead and click and do um, J, highlight this, and then go to KG Flavor and Frames, I can see this right here, right? This is a frame, okay? Um, another way, if you are doing symbols and you're not using it for the actual lettering, another way to actually get a map, and uh, you know, obviously you can click on the website and take a look and see that character map that I showed you. But let's say you downloaded it, you know, a month ago and you don't remember where you downloaded it from, you don't wanna look for it. You can always um, go over to insert, and you can insert a symbol. And when you insert a symbol, you can click on more symbols, and you wanna go to your font, KG Flavor and Frames, and from here, you can very easily just click on insert, click on insert. So you can actually physically see what you're, you're inserting rather than kind of guessing if you don't have that font map in front of you. Um, again, this is a pretty short video. Just wanted to show you quickly how you can not only download and install new fonts, but also how you can use fonts for much more than just lettering. Um, but you can use it to fit really any theme of any party and use it for things other than just lettering. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, please like this on um, YouTube and please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I try to add about a video a week or a video every other week. Thanks so much.